How y'all doing? I guess I'm back for a moment. Good to see you guys. What's up? So, uh, I just got some questions. You know, how many of you are out there and you are um, watching about everything that you're seeing going on around you on TV or, or on your computers? Or if you're keeping up with all of that. And if you are, is it doing you much good? Is it helping you? Um, would you call it sticking your head in the sand? If you don't. Well, I just, you know, I pay attention to a few things. Not very much. You know, maybe I should. I don't know. But... The word tells me to keep my eyes on the kingdom of God and not not the dying kingdom around us. And I will have to say that it is dying. It is, it's, it's decrepit, it's uh, falling apart. And everybody seems uh, very, very confused as to what the truth is or what they should do. Nobody feels right about the corona uh, jab. Nobody feels good about getting that. That uh, if they have half a mind, so for me, um, oh, I have to come out and I have to I have to say something. Uh, I made a huge mistake, and I took down a video, and I've been trying to figure out how I wanted to deal with this situation. But I have to say this, that um, my my stuff didn't get stolen. And um, maybe it got messed with, I don't know, possibly. But it might have been my, my own doing. I might, have, I might have said it somewhere where I didn't normally set it because we recovered it, you know, um, just probably a couple of weeks ago. It was gone for about 10 days. So I had given up on every bit of idea, every every one of my ideas that I had for the movies and documentaries that I that I wanted to do, like right now that I was we're working on going to shoot, and the music I wanted to record, I pretty much kind of gave up on all that, and God kind of gave me a minute to um just look at the situation. Was I blaming anybody? I started to blame some people, but I, I reneged on what I said and I, I, I checked myself because I felt like I might be wrong. And so, you know, if I'm ever wrong on here and I I don't come out here and tell you guys that I was wrong, that, that would make me, you know, that would make me just like everybody else. And, you know, I'm not doing that for, for you or me, I'm doing it for him, you know. He did me a huge favor. And so I try to do as as best as I can for the Lord, you know, um, my life is improving, my spiritual life is definitely improving, my health is improving, um, everything is improving in my life, um, my dog's finally acting right, um, get along, getting along with my wife, uh, I haven't been condemning myself, I've been coming down to myself, I've been using drugs nearly as much as what I used to use, um, you know, so I'm doing really well, and, and it's all in the Lord's time, and I just want people that are out there that have been watching me to know, yeah, I did, I feel like giving up, man, I really did, I wanted to give up, but, um, yeah, I'm not a quitter, I got no, I got nothing else to do with my life anyway, so what, what else am I gonna do? Besides this stuff, I'm definitely going to have to move around from YouTube. But anyway, so I wanted to say that. I also wanted to read some scripture today. So we are going to read Revelation 22. Alright. And then it says, And the angel showed me the river of water of life, a, chris a clear as crystal flowing out of the throne of the God and of the Lamb down the middle of the great, of the, I'm going to start over, listen, I have this light from here that's shining in my eyes, so you get to look at the back of my guitar, 
while I, that, that was messing me up. Okay, so here we go. All right. The angel of the Lord showed me a river of water, and it, now my eyes have these dots from looking into the light. When I move that, I can't read. Okay. Uh, a river of water of life, crystal clear, flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb down the middle of the great street of the city. And on each side, wow, okay, each side of um, the each side of the river stood a tree of life bearing 12 crops of fruit, yielding its fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree are for the healing of the nations. We pray healing on these nations, Lord. No longer will there be any curse. The throne of God and of the Lamb will be in the city, and the servants will serve Him. Who? They will serve God and the Lamb. The throne of God and the Lamb. They will serve Him. The Lamb and God are the same. I didn't know that. I didn't know that before. I'm so glad to know Jesus Christ is God. I know that He is God now. It's awesome to know that. So the God and the Lamb, they will see His face, and their names, and His name will be on their foreheads. There will be no more night. They will not need the light of a lamp or the light of the sun, for the Lord God will give them light, and they will reign forever and ever. And the angel said to me, These words are trustworthy and true. The Lord of God and of the spirits of the prophets sent his angel to show his servants the things that must soon take place. Jesus is coming. Behold, I am coming soon. Blessed is he who keeps the words of the prophecy of this book. John, and the one who heard and saw these things, and when I had heard and seen them, I fell down to worship at the feet of the angel who had been showing them to me. But he said to me, Do not do it. I am a fellow servant with you and your brothers and the prophets. And of all who keep the words of this book, worship God. Then he told me, Do not seal up the words of the prophecy of this book, because the time is near. Let him who does wrong continue to do wrong, and let him who is vile continue to do vile. Well. Let him who does right continue to be to do right, and let him, him who is holy continue to be holy. Why is holy and right differently? What's the difference between that? I don't If anybody knows, let me know. I thought right and holy. Anyway, behold, I am coming soon. My reward is with me, and I will give to everyone according to what he has done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, and the beginning and the end. Blessed are those who wash their robes, that they might have the right to the tree of life, and may go to those who practice the magical, and uh, and and, and uh, go through the gates of, into the city. Outside are the dogs and those who practice magic arts and sexual, and the sexual immor immoral, the murderers, the idolaters, and everyone who loves to practice falsehood. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to give you this testimony for the churches. I am the root of the offspring of David. The root of the offspring of David and the bright morning star. The spirit and the bride says, Come, and let him who hears say, Come. Whoever is thirsty, let him come. Whoever wishes, let him take the free gift of the water of life. And I warn Anyone who hears the words of this prophecy of this book, if anyone adds anything to them, God will add to them the plagues described in this book. If anyone takes words away from this book, a prophecy, God will take away from him his share in the tree of life and in the holy city, which are described in this book. He who testifies to these things says, Yes, I am coming soon. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. The grace of the Lord Jesus be with God's people. Amen. Um, awesome scripture. Because, uh, you know, I've been talking with my uncle recently. And my uncle is a Jehovah's Witness. And he's been a Jehovah's Witness for a very, very long time. And he is a, what they call a, uh, uh, he's a, uh, uh, what do they call it? He's a, uh, man, this guy spreads the Jehovah's Witness word like 24-7 seven days a week. I forget what they call him, man. But, um, 
yeah, I'm afraid for him. I want him to, to leave that place, and, and I want to be able to um, to introduce him to, to, to you know, to, to the real Jesus, you know what I mean? I, I really want to, to be a good example for my uncle to see, because all he's known of me is, you know, my addictions and going to prison and jail and all this other stuff. He doesn't know me like I am now. And, I, you know, I pray he gets to know me. And I pray he doesn't push me out. But, uh, anyway, I figured I owed you guys a, a video. And, you know, um, might as well be some scripture. And, you know, just some some good things to think about. You know, what I want to let everybody know is that my way of doing things is working really well. And not paying attention to the stuff that's going on around me and focusing on the Lord. And living my life and doing what I do. Not focusing on the gang stalking. Not focusing on all that. You know, let it come as it comes and let it go as it goes. But, yeah, it's working for me. And, you know, maybe maybe some other people should try that. But anyway, I love you guys. And no, I'm not quitting. And take care.